Hello and welcome to Pahrump, Nevada. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean from Miles to Memories, and I'm so glad to have you here for today's tour of Pahrump, Nevada, just about 60 miles west of Las Vegas. This town is home to about 25,000 people, but it is enormous, as you can see. Tons of desert, but lots of interesting things to see, including casinos and more. Before we get into the video, please consider subscribing, smash that like button, tell people about our videos, hit the notification bell so you receive notifications of all of our new videos. Let's dive in. First, to get to Pahrump, you leave Las Vegas on Highway 160, also known as Blue Diamond Road, and on the way you pass through Mountain Springs, Nevada at an elevation of 5,528 feet. This little town is very, very interesting. My favorite part is this saloon, which is very popular here, and I believe among the bikers, they like to hang out here too. This was actually my first time stopping here ever, despite having driven through here many, many times. I found it to be a pretty cool place, someplace that I would like to go back to when there's more people and the times are a little bit more, more normal. They do have several buildings on property. The gift shop was closed, but the saloon is open and we'll see that in a minute. This is where the springs are and it looks like people have lots of fun here with the inflatables. I'm sure quite the parties go on over here in Mountain Springs. And this is only about 20 to 30 minutes from Las Vegas. It really depends on where in the Vegas Valley you are, but it's not that far, about halfway between Vegas and Pahrump. Now inside the world famous Mountain Springs Saloon, I guess the popular thing to do here is to put your dollar bills on the wall with a message. A lot of people have done that. They were nice enough to let me walk around here. When I got to this part, I was told I had to sit down or leave just because of the rules right now in Nevada. But thanks to them for being so friendly and allowing me to check out the property and show it to you. If you're headed out to Prump, definitely worth a stop here. Really nice. But now let's head out back on the road, Highway 160 out to Pahrump. This is the first of our casinos on this tour, and this is the Gold Town Casino. This used to be a Terribles Casino, and it's attached to a gas station. You just saw the wall right there blocking off the gas station. Just like many of the casinos in Nevada, they are doing controlled entry, meaning they only have one entry and exit. This is a very small property, but I do like the theming in here. We'll see the entrance to the gas station uh, from a different angle a little bit later. In so many of these casinos, I did get asked to stop filming, so just keep that in mind. But this one, I got to film most of it, and you can see it has a small restaurant area, a bar area, and several entrances along with a liquor store and then that convenience store. The Old West theme persists here. And this was actually bought by Golden Entertainment and that's one of three casinos that Golden Entertainment owns. And we'll talk a little bit more about them, but they own the PT's pubs in Las Vegas and some casinos in Laughlin too. And this is the exterior. So think of this kind of a combination of gas station, small casino and bar, along with a liquor store. It's not really the traditional kind of Vegas casino you would see. The only traditional Vegas casino that we see out in Pahrump is uh, Pahrump Nugget. And we are going to head there in a minute, but here is the inside of the convenience store and this is the area that's blocked off to the casino. Pahrump Nugget was an interesting visit for me. I really only got to visit the bowling alley before I was asked to stop filming. I just want to talk about the manager there. His name is Bob. Golden Entertainment, if you're watching this, Bob is terrible. He's rude. He was rude to me. He was rude to other people. I was at other places where I was asked to stop filming. Nobody else was rude. Bob, shame on you. I really mean that. Your employees deserve a better manager than you are. And people that are in your casino deserve to be treated better. This bowling alley is very nice and modern. Front Nugget has a pretty nice arcade. I'm not sure if these games have been updated in 10 or 15 years, but certainly larger than many arcades around. Right off the bowling alley. Wow, 
While I didn't get to film much of the casino, this is sort of what it looks like, this gray color scheme. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like in there. And this is about when Bob came and yelled at me, rude, rude, Bob. But let's head back outside where there's a few interesting things to see out there, including a support the troops kind of memorial. And we'll see the hotel tower. And like I said, this is probably the most traditional casino in Pahrump. It's got restaurants. It has a food court. It has a bowling alley and a lot of other stuff. Bingo room and even a small hotel tower that I actually stayed in many years ago. I used to come out here for business. I used to work in estate planning. And we used to do living trusts out here a lot. So I would come out here and have like 15, 20 appointments packed over two days. And then I would stay the night. And I stayed at Prump Nugget twice. The rooms were all right. Now I want to talk about people being friendly since Bob was so mean over at Prump Nugget. This place... Blackjack Fireworks, super friendly people. It's right on Highway 160. And that's another reason people come to Pahrump is for the legal fireworks in Nye County. In Clark County, there are some fireworks that are legal, but very few. And here you can really buy tons more than you could get out in Vegas. When I was a kid, I used to love these big kits. 139. Get you all of that. The wow factor, 20% off right now, marked down from $4.99 to $3.99. And this thing is enormous. This is a neat store. This is another place I had seen a lot but never stopped in. And I can't stress how friendly they were to me and how many different types of fireworks they have in this enormous store. It's definitely worth checking out. Although I'm not sure that gender reveal fireworks are the best idea right now given the recent fire that was started. But overall, this place is a win. This is the Saddle West perhaps the most resort-like of all of the places here in Pahrump. These almost apartment style buildings. Take a look at the room. Not terrible, the room, but also nothing fancy out here, but a little different. Very nice green space here in the middle. And the RV park is just forward kind of beyond out there. Hopefully we'll get a nice look at the casino but we're gonna walk around these grounds for a little bit and then I'll be back with you. I stayed at this hotel once back in maybe 2004 on business and they used to have rooms with hot tubs in them that they advertised and I thought that that was an interesting prospect. Not sure I'd want to stay here today but this is a very nice area with the pool. Very very nice. Apparently Saddle West is the exclusive home of winning and feasting here in Prump. This is a short look at the Saddle West Casino before I got asked to stop filming. And very friendly employees here at this casino, even though they did ask me to stop, they were very, very friendly. 
This is a, not a huge casino, probably a little smaller than Pahrump Nugget, but certainly it has a, a restaurant and other stuff. This was what I found interesting. This is the employee break room looking down on the casino and Pahrump Strong is all around here in town. Pahrump is not a city, it's actually an unincorporated town. This is the Mountain Falls development that actually started, I don't know, 20 or 30 years ago and then fell through and then it's been redeveloped lately, but still so much undeveloped land out in Pahrump. In fact, Pahrump has a census designated area of 297.9 square miles, making it the largest census designated place in the entire contiguous United States. Now we're here at Lakeside. This is also owned by Golden Entertainment, and this is the nicest spot in Pahrump by far. This is a cool place to walk around. The lake, the RV park is here. The RV park was packed. You will see some areas a little bit later. There were not very many empty spots in the RV park at all. Of course, you have the ducks, but they also have a pool area, even a beach and so much greenery, which is really, really nice considering how brown it is everywhere in Pahrump. I think this is a private house, not quite sure, but it kind of jets out onto the lake and sits right next to the pool area. And we see the beach in the distance. We're gonna get a look at all of this. Golden Entertainment bought this from Terribles along with the gold mine back in 2011. This used to be known as the Terribles Lakeside Casino and now just known as the Lakeside Casino. This beach area looked like a really nice place to hang out and have a fire at night. And I'm sure that this community of people in the RVs do that. But I will say this is very popular and this is my favorite spot in Pahrump. And I hope to show you a few more shots of why and then we'll head into the casino. In this area, you'll see how busy the RV park is, but you'll also see how Pahrump is massive and very, very brown. A lot of the houses are on half acre lots or large lots with smaller manufactured homes. Although in recent years, more and more builders of traditional homes have come out to Pahrump. inside the casino now, and it wasn't nearly as busy here as some of the other places, but there were quite a few people playing and it is a very nice lodgy kind of feel inside. Here's a short little walk through the casino. Very traditional and very lodgy, like I said, like a log cabin and a really nice place. I definitely enjoyed this fish tank going into the cafe. And here's a few pictures showing you the restaurant and this is what it looks like inside. And we have a few other things to look at, including this bar, which gives you kind of an idea. The restaurant's at the far end of this picture. This is essentially the entire casino end to end. And they even have off to the side a bingo room, which was kind of a surprise for such a small property. I know people go out to Pahrump for many different reasons, to race cars, to go to the brothels, not to really check out the casinos probably, and that's good for good reason. Vegas has a lot more to offer. But Pahrump is an interesting place full of interesting people, and Lakeside is the place to go if you're interested in that greenery in the middle of the desert. Of course, if you're in Pahrump, don't forget to go to Death Valley. So much to do and see around this area. I hope you enjoyed a look at these casinos and maybe something a little bit unique that you haven't seen in Pahrump before. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.